I can't even think of how many times we have talked on this show the last few months yeah. about the expectations that he was going to have a huge season. And this is just a piece to what has been so far, Dan Graziano. Just run through it. A terrible a training camp and preseason puzzle. The Ravens have had a brutal month. They have, and we talk about them needing to elevate their passing game. The quarterback, Lamar Jackson, misses a chunk of training camp because he's on the COVID list. Yep. Wide every wide receiver has missed at least some practice time. Uh, obviously, we know about the first-round pick, Rashad Bateman, having had surgery on his groin. That's a big one. But, yeah, they've been in and out of practice. And now this. Look, if you can elevate your, elevate your passing game as the Ravens, you know your DNA is one of the great running teams in the entire league. Now you've lost your best runner. It, it, it's, it's been pretty rough. That feels like a... a my devastating might be a bit strong, but that feels like a terrible blow, Dominique Foxworth. What do you think? I mean, it's it's a blow, but I don't think it's devastating, and I don't think it impacts my projection for Ooh. how good this team is because they didn't lose their best runner. They lost their second best runner. The best running back on that team is also the best quarterback on that team. Right. That That's team true. is fundamentally built around one man. More so than any team in the entire league, I think, that that offense is built around one player. They've improved the offensive line. Health has helped some. But this is a defensive team that relies on its ability to blitz and play man coverage, which you, there is no answer for that. If the man coverage is tight and the blitzing is tight on the defensive side of the ball, on the offensive side of the ball, they rely on Lamar Jackson being exceptional, which he is still. Losing J.K. Dobbins does not make Lamar Jackson any less exceptional. Hmm. I think Gus Edwards averages five yards a carry throughout his career. They're going to be fine running the ball on offense with that O-line and Lamar Jackson. I'm sorry for J.K., but it does not change how intimidating that offense is going to be. Jeff, Saturday, you look skeptical. Yeah, I just disagree. I mean, listen, I don't even understand how, why they're playing J.K. Dobbins. By the way, he averaged six yards a carry. Mm. So when you talk mm. about what Gus Edwards did, here's what Dobbins does as well, right? Like, this kid is a player, man. And it, I, as good as Lamar Jackson in, it's a 17-game season. Man, you need, all, you need all the bullets you can get. J.K. Dobbins is a big loss for this football team. And, you, and Dan spelled out how many injuries they've had on this passing attack. When you go back to running it, it'd be nice. You, you can have that one Lamar Jackson, but you need those other two dudes. And listen, they are dudes. I, and, and listen, I don't understand why he's even playing. Like it, it drives me nuts that he's even in the game at this point in the preseason. Like we know what running backs are. We know what they are. Like Edron James didn't need preseason. Like running backs don't need it. They're not protected. I just don't like it all together. I, I think it's a big loss for the Ravens and disappointing for Dobbins as a person. Every time a, a player gets hurt in the, in the preseason, your mind immediately goes to, well, why in the world was he out oh. there? And particularly for a running back. Quickly, Dan Orlovsky, we, we, we spelled out all the things that have gone wrong yeah. for the Ravens in, in this training camp and preseason. What does it add up to to you? What, what, whatever it is you thought they had the potential to be, how far short of that do you think that they – are you concerned they might become? All these injuries and the Dobbins injuries keeps them short of the Super Bowl. It really does. This, and context matters. Brand matters in this conversation. The Ravens will still be a very good football team. Yeah. But to say this isn't a huge loss sure. with J.K. Dobbins is not true. This is the one-two punch. They lost their two punch in their one-two punch. And I believe it was going to be one of, if not the best, one-two punches in the NFL with Lamar and J.K. Dobbins. You know how, like, guys, we've talked about Nick Chubb over the past – year or two becoming one of the best running backs, pure runners in the NFL. I really think that J.K. Dobbins was going to become that type of player for the Ravens. So I'm looking at a football team yep. that, again, this isn't a question of whether they'll be good, but Super Bowl contenders. And their skill position players, I don't know how they get better. I, I, you guys tell me, Dom. Like, you tell me how a, a skill group gets better when they can't run. Their receivers right, can't no, run right now, the, the and now they've lost their starting tailback. I'm with you. The projections have to change for the Ravens in part because of those skill position things, but not just because of J.K. Dobbins. The real concerning thing for the Ravens is how sharp that highlight that we just watched of, of Baker Mayfield, that's the scary thing. That's how fair. sharp Baker Mayfield yeah. looks right now, <laughs> drilling that, that ball in there. Like, J.K. Dobbins' ACL, it sucks. I would love to have J.K. Dobbins uh, as a part of that team. However, that is not what's going to be the Ravens' problem. The problem is if – Baker Mayfield can stand up to that blitz and drill uh, passes that beat man coverage. That is the only thing they have to, that concerns the Ravens right now. Yes, their problems may be in Cleveland and even in Pittsburgh. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.